what's going on traders hope everyone's having a profitable day getting ready to enjoy their weekend and relax take a take a break from this market uh, here's a small well a quick, I should say small but a quick recap of what took place for me today had a nice some, some nice shorts short setups on CL oil as well as YY and nice long play on PXS and then some small base hits EIX was a base hit snap was a base hit TLRD that pretty much was nothing um, took a took a loss on that first solar try to short it under some resistance ended up bouncing higher and stopped out on that one but all in all it was a cool day let's jump into it all right so let's take a look at this CL setting up for a short break through this 50 period moving average and that's a play for me uh, stock pushed up pre-market pretty much what 10 points so I am going to grab some CL yep push up about 10 points All right so pushed higher hit some resistance yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some CL right here at 57.41 with a short break below this 50 period moving average and see if it can't drop down 10 to, 10 to 30 cents. What else we got on the move? Um, PXS. XS looking nice just need a pullback can't chase this thing man I definitely want to get in this uh, let me see if we can find a setup here we are looking at a daily got some support underneath us let me move, move these lines since they really don't mean anything now okay so we got some support underneath us and the stock is taking off so if we can get a pullback, I'll definitely jump in this PXS for a long trade. Just needed to pull back around this 550 area, somewhere between 5 and 550. That'd be nice. Definitely be a great setup. So just be patient and don't chase stuff. You know, don't don't run after um, stocks because you want to get in something. Whether it's long or short, you will get uh, you will get hurt doing that. FYI, just speaking from experience. So CL's looking great. There's that drop. We need it. Needed volume to pick up. Once it broke through that 50 period app, 50 period moving average. Hopefully the 15 to cross over, more volume to kick in. It'd be a nice trade. Nice trade. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit right here. I'll say I'll buy two more contracts, total of five. And hopefully they can get down to that 5710, 5715 area. That'd be great. I like this CL, man. They pushed up pre market and now it's falling back. It was a good trade, good trade setup, good short setup, breaking through that 50. Looks like YY is breaking through the 50 as well. So that's a nice trade. I'm going to move my stop down here a little bit, lock in some money. So let me move this stop. Boom, there we have it. All right, that's CL. I like this uh, first solar. We've got some resistance right here at the pre market high as well as the, uh, the high of the day. Stock is pulling back. Looks like it's going to break through this double bottom. Uh, I'm gonna grab uh, 500 shares of first solar right here, 68.60. Let's see if this thing can't continue to fall. We just need some volume to pick up. Volume increases, it, it'll be a great trade. If not, I'll keep a tight stop, roughly, what's the 30 cents? Yeah, so right here at this uh, pre market high, that'll be my stop look for a fall pxs still not doing anything starting to get a little pullback now on it 
Boom, there we go. There's that pullback we needed on PXS. So now we're just looking for area support. CL still looking good. We got a double bottom, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell a contract. No, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and sell all of them on uh, CL. So I'm out of CL. It's a nice trade. Got a double bottom down there. All right. So PXS is setting up to be a nice long play. We got a defined area of support. We got a defined area of resistance. I'm still holding this first solar short, but it's starting to bounce against me a little bit. So got to make a decision let me take a look at a different time frame so it looks like that 50 is holding up on a five minute chart pxs here we go there's our pullback and let me move this chart all right, so here's PXS. I've moved the chart to the bottom so I can see it a little better. All right, so we got our pullback on PXS and got a defined area of support underneath us. And I'm gonna grab some, if we can get up to that six bucks, I'll grab a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and step in now. I got a big buyer on the bid. So I'm gonna grab some at 596. So I'm long PXS at 596. All right, so let me close out this first solar. This thing is bouncing against, against me and I'm gonna have to take a $130 loss on it. All right, so PXS is looking good. Uh, if we can hold up above this six, push up to that 650 area, that'd be great. We had some big buyers, well, not big, but some nice size buyers on the bid, so I might as well ride behind them. You know, you don't have to ride in this thing alone. Go carpool with some people. You know, find some people who's, who's trading the stock in your direction. Hop on the train with them, ride with them. You don't have to always ride by yourself. And this is great. So PXS is great. I'm long right here at 596. Let me change this to purple. And nice, nice. Got our support underneath us. Got volume increasing. All right. There's that push. We need it. All right. So I'm going to sell a little bit right here. Got filled at 629 to be exact. I move my stop up to break even. Go ahead and lock in. We'll lock in a little less than 300. Lock in about 300 bucks. All right. So PXS is going to be my last trade of the day. If we can hold up, push up to that 650. I'll go ahead and close it out. If not, more than likely we'll pull back, hit my stop. And that will be it for me. Stick to your plan when you're trading, man. Don't deviate from your plan. Wherever your stop is at, leave it there. Don't get too greedy. Don't get too fearful. So it was, it was good decision to go ahead for me to sell a thousand shares up there at uh, 629, locking that money. Uh, obviously, it looks like it's about to pull back against me. I will keep my stop right there, 596. what we're gonna do so it looks like we got some resistance up here we got two topping tails the 650 area can't push up I was gonna hit my stop close this thing out and call it a day boom there we go that's it so out of PXS I uh, thought the stock would push higher it didn't but it is what it is. So y'all have a great weekend. I am the Bearded Trader. Enjoy what you do. If you're a trader, man, enjoy it. Win, lose, or draw. Enjoy what you do. Love this business. Have a great weekend.